So when you're first starting out any new way of eating, it can feel overwhelming. And I don't know if you're like me, but when the excitement kicks in and my motivation is on 100, I got this. First thing I do, I turn to my know-it-all BFF. So typical me frantically searches the web because I just need to know everything, every detail to do this perfect only to discover that there are about a trillion, trillion results that show up. And the best part, they are all saying opposite things. So I thought I would do you guys all a favor and let you know that it's safe now to break up with Google because I got you. I'll be showing you guys today my top 10 items on my grocery list that should be on yours too. So let's get to it. If it's your first time here, my name is Stasia and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 starch solution staples that I always have kicking around. Okay, so just a quick recap for those of you who don't know, I am following the starch solution which is an oil-free plant-based diet created by Dr. McDougall that focuses on starchy and non-starchy vegetables being the center of the diet. If you want to learn more about how calorie density works, I will link one of my videos in the description box explaining what calorie density is, foods I'm eating now compared to foods I was eating before. And trust me, after watching that, you'll completely understand why it's so easy to lose weight eating this way. So I will link that below, so be sure to check it out. But for today, let's jump to it. Oatmeal. This is a must have for me. Oatmeal is everything for me for this way of eating. I use it for breakfast most mornings and I also use it for some of my desserts, my baked oatmeal pie. Seriously guys, it's to die for. If you have not seen that recipe, I will link that below in the description. Definitely give that one a try. I also use oatmeal as a quick fix. Like if I'm starving, like I wanna eat my own arm kind of hungry and let's face it, we all have those days. Oatmeal is fantastic for getting the job done fast. Unlike some of our other amazing starches, oatmeal takes like five minutes to whip up and you have yourself a filling meal. So it has seriously been a savior for me on those days where I'm just too tired, too lazy, too whatever to cook. Oatmeal, my friends. Bananas! Aside from their annoying little fruit fly buddies that they like to invite into my home unannounced, I love bananas. They make the perfect on-the-go snack, they help to curb a sweet tooth, and I find that they're very gentle on the stomach for anyone who has digestive issues. They are delicious when they're frozen and can make some awesome desserts, obviously nice cream being one of them. But most people only think about frozen bananas and underestimate the amazingness of baked bananas. I will be showing you guys how I sometimes make a baked fruit bowl. Yeah, you heard me right. I find that it brings out all the natural sugars even more than when they're frozen. And seriously, people are sleeping on that. It's a hidden dessert gem for sure. So I always have like a billion bananas in this house and seriously start to panic when I see like only two left. So bananas are definitely an awesome starch solution staple. Dijon mustard and maple syrup. Okay, so these are kind of a two in one staple. These are a must have. I go through this stuff really fast quite obviously so. <laughs> so I use them together pretty regularly as a salad dressing or a dipping sauce, but I also use them individually. Dijon mustard is great on sandwiches. I use it sometimes as a dip for my fries, and there's a lot of oil-free salad dressings that have Dijon mustard in it. And as you can see, I need to get to the store. <laughs> and same with maple syrup. You can use it on your oatmeal, you can use it in some salad dressings. It is a must-have sweetener for some of your starch solution recipes. So yeah, these two have totally been game changers for me. Oh, potatoes, how I love you. I mean, what can I say? These are the things that most people trying to lose weight fear with all their life, when really, all this time, if everyone had just stopped judging so hard, these divine potatoes would have had all of us bikini ready by now. But it's okay, we know the truth now, so have fun experimenting with these. I make them baked, mashed, air fried, like every day, hash browns, wedges, in soups, and even some recipes call for potatoes. I mean, they are so versatile. Make sure you always have a big bag of potatoes. So now for the potatoes cousin, sweet potatoes. Now, I didn't want to be rude before, but uh, sweet potatoes are really the best. 
They are seriously any sweet lover's best friend. Trust me, I should know. But let me tell you this, you have to cook them right to really be able to enjoy them. So the way that I cook them, I cook them at a lower temperature around 350 or so for about an hour and a half to two hours. And then I stab them with a fork like a crazy lady about halfway through. I poke holes all throughout them, not when they're hard guys, about halfway cooked. When they're hard, no one wants to break a fork or a wrist. It's not necessary to cook a sweet potato. So halfway done, just poke them, ton of holes, because when you cook them at a lower temperature for longer, all the sugar kind of comes out of it and just creates this ooey gooey yummy deliciousness that you don't get when you cook them at a higher temperature for a shorter period of time. Now, fair warning, no one said nothing about beautiful food here. These things taste delicious if you cook them the way I just described, but they are ugly when they are done. <laughs> the sugar is like all over the parchment paper. It just, it does not look appetizing at all. My sister confirmed that for me the one day she was over and I made them, but I promise they taste delicious. Another tidbit of information are that these are amazing for constipation. They will definitely get things moving. I eat these about four to five times a week and I always batch cook them at about like four or five at a time and they keep really well in the fridge. Much like regular potatoes, there are lots of fun recipes on how to prepare them. So they are definitely a must have. Frozen veggies. I always, always, always have frozen veggies in my house. If you already have your starch pre-cooked, then it takes like seven or eight minutes to quickly water fry these in a pan or steam them in a pot, and you have yourself a complete dinner in under 10 minutes. Also, if you like to make soup, this takes all the work out of it. Seriously, just dump these in a pot, add some water, throw in your favorite seasonings, and boom, you got yourself a soup. It's really that easy. Frozen veggies always take the work out of cooking a starch solution meal. Rice. I never used to be much of a rice eater before eating this way, but I am now. It's just so easy to make a big pot of it, keep it in the fridge for a few days, and anytime I need to make a meal, I've already got my starch cooked, I add my non-starch veggies on the side, and I've got myself a quick meal. So Dr. McDougall recommends eating whole grain rice like brown rice or wild rice, but I'm still eating white rice on some days and wild rice on others, and then some days I just mix them together. I'm not too strict about it at this point, Maybe down the road that will change, but for now, white rice is what I get more excited about and it's better than probably a million other things that I could think of. So I'm just not gonna stress it for now. I'm always trying to do better, but if I feel like white rice, white rice it is. So yes, rice is definitely another staple for the starch solution. Canned chickpeas. So I always make sure to have a couple of these cans on hand as I'm always making hummus around here. Seriously only takes but like a few minutes to whip together an oil-free hummus at home. So I never buy the grocery store stuff anymore. And most of that stuff has oil in it anyways. For those of you who haven't seen my oil-free hummus recipe, I will be sure to link that below in the description if you want to check it out. Chickpeas can be used for lots of other recipes as well, but I primarily use it for hummus like every day. So <laughs> that's why it made my top 10 list for starch solution staples. Almond milk. So I use actually the sweetened and the unsweetened kind because I prefer the sweetened one for my teas and some of my desserts. And I really don't sweat it too much. I mean, for those of you who are watching your sugar, then be sure to just use the unsweetened kind. And again, that's a goal of mine that I'm working towards. But for now, it's really helping me to transition, having a few yummy things to really look forward to. And a little bit of sweetened milk hasn't hurt anybody yet, so. There are lots of things that I use almond milk for, like my teas, desserts, smoothies for my kids, nice cream, so it definitely deserves a place in this house, something I always have on hand, so definitely a starch solution staple in my books. So that's it, guys. You got my top 10 starch solution staples. And remember, those are my must-have staples. If there's one or some of them that you don't like, just swap them out for something that you do. There's never any hard rules around here. But going to the grocery store prepared with what to buy is a much better idea than going on a whim and in most cases on a hungry stomach. If you are new here and maybe even new to the starch solution and want to follow along my weight loss journey, then be sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. My channel is all about keeping this process real with you guys. I promise you, you will see nothing perfect here.
but I will be showing you realistically what it looks like to follow the starch solution and lose weight doing so. You will be getting all my starch solution what I eat in a day videos, my tips and tricks I'm learning along the way, and of course, my progress updates. And I just wanted to say thank you so much again to all my current subscribers. I have recently seen such a growth in my channel and I cannot say thank you enough. I am so excited to do this with all of you. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Chat soon.